perhaps a, a, a poor afternoon for the Cobbers. Yeah, as you say, uh, disappointing afternoon. Um, in a good season overall. Uh, obviously, uh, we've tried to motivate and work hard to uh, not let the season, um, you know, fall away. And uh, I would say, if we can uh, make sure we're right next Saturday, that's got to be just uh, a blip and you know get ourselves right for next Saturday. But um, no, look, they uh, <coughs> they came out all guns blazing. Uh, we, the conditions were pretty bad uh, and it was hard to get out and uh, we just couldn't seem to get out they kept winning every second ball they they outfought us to be honest in that first minutes on the back foot and uh, two goals were called to see but obviously um, you know it's just through our own doing at the time I, I felt we were quite sloppy in a, in a couple of moments and uh, look you know, all, all credit to them, really, because, uh, you know, they came out and, uh, you know, made it so difficult for us to get out and uh, swarmed us, really. And uh, and in the end, uh, we succumbed to two goals and just, uh, it was quite difficult. Yeah, you, you never recover from that really disappointing start. I mean, as you say, Fleetwood came at you very quickly and, and penned you back. It was hard to, to recover from that. No, obviously, it, it, look, you know, You've, you've got to play the conditions sometimes, and uh, and I don't I don't think we did. I think we sort of overplayed really in, in certain areas, and uh, and then didn't win any first contact, second balls, uh, and they uh, they won that battle, and that, that's what determined the game from the off really, and uh, and that put us on the back foot and conceded early, and then conceded again. It was always an uphill battle. It was. Uh, we played better second half. I made some changes to add some energy to it. Uh, Kieran scores a legitimate goal, but it's probably too late anyway. But that's disappointing with the officials at the moment because it's Kieran makes his times he's run brilliantly, uh, great touch and a good finish, and it should be a goal really. And then you know for the last three or four minutes it could be really nervy for him, but uh, unfortunately it was uh, too little, too late. Yeah, Kieran Bay with a lovely finish, and we saw the TV replays, and he was he was clearly on side, wasn't he? <laughs> Absolutely. I've, I've just said to them now. I said, uh, you know, his time, uh, you know, to the linesman. What have you seen there? I said his time has run brilliantly, and but obviously that. that by the by, that's uh, not uh, why we lost today. The reason why we lost is uh, we lost the battle early on, and they uh, they were aggressive and. Uh, in the end, uh, they made us uh, pay with their chances that they um, they created. Yeah, I mean, you'd had a good run to this point. You'd won three of the last four, a couple of clean sheets. You were going well. You looked to be ending the season in, in good fashion. Was there a bit of end of season itis there about today's performance from the um, Cubs? I just, we didn't do the, I wouldn't say that. I just, we didn't do the basic try. We didn't win the battle. We didn't win first and second balls. And, uh, and we didn't play the conditions early on and I, I felt we needed to go forward a lot quicker and uh, <coughs> with more quality in the beginnings and uh, they, uh, they had a plan and it, it worked for them and uh, look, put, put some perspective in it. Yeah, I know they're down the bottom there but <laughs> their players have turned up today and they've got some fantastic players for this level yeah. uh, and uh, Actually, they've all really turned up and put on a good show and, and made it really difficult for us. And uh, obviously, we've shot ourselves in the foot, but, um, you know, they're, they're fair credit to them today. Yeah. Uh, you'll be looking, though, to finish the season strongly. You've got your last home game against Exeter uh, next weekend at six years, the last home game of the season. We had Aaron McGowan on the Cobber Show on Thursday, and he was talking about the targets are still being set by you and by Ian Sampson. So what's the target now? Is it obviously to get the 60 points, maybe to get uh, beyond that? Uh, with, we're, uh, we're, points look, we're, 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 we're two games to go. We can achieve the target we set out. You know, we've overachieved what, on what we set out to do, which, which there's a perspective in itself. Um, and but you know that that hurts today. You we we don't want to come here and uh, and not be as competitive as we should be in that first thirty minutes. We know we should be a lot better than that. Uh, and obviously the boys have got pride to finish the season strongly first and foremost. And you know the proof. Of
will be in the pudding on uh, Sunday. So, you know, we just got to make sure we uh, set ourselves up right and um, go and attack uh, Exeter in next Saturday. Uh, any positives from today's game? You've got some more game time to Ali Coy, for example, who came on in the second half. Lively on occasions getting forward. Um, look, you know, I, I, I don't want to be too disappointed to lose today. I don't want to be too down on that because we have had a fantastic season. Yeah. Let's get it right. But, you know, to lose 2 0 at Fleetwood, that happens. And, uh, you know, um, we haven't done the basics right. And, uh, I expect us to do those basics right, and and the boys also expect themselves to. And, and today they've uh, they've caught us on the back foot, and uh, they've created the momentum and kept going. And unfortunately, we we could not grab hold of that momentum. Only probably in the, the last 30 minutes, I would say we yeah. we dominated and they protected the lead. And, uh, but we didn't really test them enough to, to do enough to, to get back in the, you know their goal enough to get yeah. back in the game uh, Fantastic support again from the Cobbers uh, 680 pre-sold -sold tickets and more coming through the gate on the day I and mean, it's wonderful support today for Northampton quite the result they'd have wanted the fans yeah, Look you know that's football uh, and, and we, we don't want it to be that way and we appreciate the, the support we want to put on a, a better display than that but um, you know look they've been brilliant all season uh, they know we bounce back and uh, that's what we'll be aiming to do on uh, next Saturday. Okay, John, just to switch sports, um, the Saints in action only against the Bulls, European, uh, well, not European because the Bulls are involved in South Africa, aren't they? But it's a Champions Cup quarter final. Yeah. You'll be uh, no doubt supporting from afar to see the, uh, the, the Saints hopefully get into the semi finals. Oh, absolutely. I've been texting Dallas uh, and what a performance last week and, um, you know, just hoping they uh, get over the line today.